P250 for the jump. I really, really wanted to take that swing. That's a that's a nice move. Actually, that's something you, you can do even in regular rounds with a deagle sometimes. So one of the funniest things is, is spawning that close to the A-bomb site and just running for it. Uh, but he's on his own. Bomb is outside of the B-bomb site. And yeah. we're on Mirage. He's looking for a kill. He's he's going to hunt down a kill here. He wants He's going to take as much time. And this is some swagger from Simple. This is the level. This is the kind of attitude you want to see Simple come into this game with. If he gets this kill, the rest of Navi is poised, is ready to pounce at the B bomb site, And they're going to give Simple as much time as he wants. He gets to dictate this round from here. Boomish has a smoke that he could even actually throw over the building and into the B bomb site if he wanted to. So he's already put it out. So we'll see where that lands. Nice shot from Simple. He's going to take down OC. And like you said, taking as much time as he wants. Smoke instead is going to land a top connector. And now the question is, they've actually pulled, what, Bit back into the middle to try and see if he can create a little bit of chaos there. He's going to go down to shots, though. And now Simple still on this island on his own. But the team is being brought back. Simple saying, you know what? I'm just winning this fight on my own. So... Why did you guys bring the bomb and let's have a party? Yeah, but th this kind of gives Liquid the game as well. They, they kind of start to realize if there's no follow-up, if Simple's still the only one here, the team was lining up for some kind of a B hit. So kind of gives them some knowledge of what's coming. You can see Nap with that flashbang, but Simple's going to do it all. Another kill, and he hears the shots of Elise over towards spawn, and there's the pounce from Palace. Beautiful pistol on Simple controlled everything. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. They've sent him into the A bomb site to conquer it on his own, and he was just there the whole time. And eventually, he's like, you know what? Uh, you know, if he had the bomb, maybe he could have won it on his own. Just didn't even need, need to call anyone else in. Just said, you, you guys just stay on the other side of the map. It's fine. Two on four for the retake. There is a smoke and a kit, and that's always exciting in pistol rounds if they could get onto the site itself. Simple as holding it. One more click for the triple kill, and leaves Naf on his own, and one more headshot. Why not a quad kill? He won the round on his own. Yeah, what an absolute freak, and that's the kind of simple you want to see to start the game. That's the kind of simple if you're looking for Navi to bounce back in this event. Well, this is going to be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> one of the stupidest things I've seen in a long time. <laughs> but listen, if it works, it's not stupid, right? So, hey, look, it's got them a kill. It's got them an AK-47. Now, can they can they hold on to that throughout the round? Simple adds a kill through smoke. He's actually got two. And OC is just going to chill, surely, with that AK-47, taking a shot towards Catwalk. But surely these USPs are going to be there to protect him and keep some spacing. What actually are you buying tickets for on this map? Where are you going with, this, with that ticket? Uh, I don't know. That's a really good question, actually. I've never, never wondered that. There are some cannons back there. Maybe that, like, it's like, uh, maybe you go shoot the cannons. Okay. Did you, I'm about to say, I don't know if this is actually true, but I've heard a rumor that in the past when the, the, the people who made the cannons when they had to test them, they had to sit on top of them themselves to make sure that they, you know, had put real effort into them. So obviously if they fail on the first shot then and you're on top of it. I gotcha, you're so... Blown up. I, okay, I see. That's kind of, that's kind of cruel. Yeah, but it, I feel like it does, it does kind of make you commit to it. You're exactly right. You mentioned something else, which is Electronic using the Chaos at ramp to walk out of the, out of the A apartments. That's something that he's, he's kind of known for doing, and it's actually just devastating if you're holding that, uh, that ticket position and someone's just walking in to shoot you in the face with the... Now, Nafli did hit the shot, so great on him. He actually took him down, but it's something to really look for. He's, he's pretty good at that play. Oh, Simple's creeping up, though. I, he's, I, I, he's gonna test this this whole game, it feels like. <laughs> This time, obviously, just against pistols, and he knows it, so he's hungry. Electronic making his presence known. Utility starting to be chucked out. Nitro's going to pop up the ladder, get taken down from behind, and it's all Navi. So far from here, Elige couldn't get comfortable. And Navi in complete control. Yeah, it really feels like it right now. Now, a little bit of a, of a change up in positions uh, for Liquid on the CT side of Mirage. If you remember previously in the lineups, before it had just kind of... Plays retake over at the A bomb site. He's brought down low as well. And then you got to imagine Navi's going to pick up the pace and apply the pressure to this A bomb site yet again. Bit crunching from connector. And he's going to have to watch his back as Shox is in position on catwalk. Yeah, and he's got the lineup on him as well. Shox. I can't believe you must have seen Bit surely by now. It's real close if he hasn't. Yeah, might have just missed a leg there, but he's going to keep walking forward and oh. still hasn't quite seen it. I feel like the gun must have been showing. Elise is going to be going down. Shock's coming back to get a little bit of revenge, at least 40 seconds left, but Simple's on the site with the bomb in hand, and Shock's actually does get dinked there. 
trying to get that bomb plant down in time. Need and a follow-up. That one landed right in his face. I would need to see a replay of that. Perfecto and Electronic, two versus four. Make it a one on four for Electronic. By every standard, it's unwinnable at this point, even with the bomb down. And Shocks will find him a nice triple kill. So, a good first round of the board for Liquid. Yeah, that second nade must have been perfect, because I think the first one when he was planting the bomb only did like... Nice to see them being aggressive in the mid-round and not relinquishing all control over to Na'Vi. AK is in a Galil for the Na'Vi attack, and again, it looks like fast mid-control. Here are the nades, here are the flashes. Last time they did this, it was aggression from Liquid that they neutralized. This time, there's nobody here except for a Legion window. He's dinked, he's gonna go down. One for one trade. Nice nade that landed on top of them just as he swung for it. That's going to be really frustrating as well. It is practically dead, and Nitro is all the way dead. Electronic taking him down again, t finding that fight out of the A Palace. I would love... I, I just get a sense when I when I watch how this game has started so far. Actually, hold the thought. We'll see if they're going to end up going for this retake. Naf is peeking into the bomb site. Three on four. A couple players are low, and they do have three kits and plenty of utility. Does he see that? He does now. Jumping up. Bit of a risk to take from Naf, but pays off hugely. They have a massive health advantage right now. OC is starting to make his way into the middle, jumping down, spotting for it, but Simple will land the instant headshot. They're going to try and smoke it up and get that. Oh, Electronic, last bullet to pick it up, and now Shocks, can he run to pick it up? He has the kit. Three seconds on that defuse, and he's almost got, got it. Oh! Last possible bullet, I think. Taking down Shocks inside of the smoke. I want to see that in the most, most slow motion possible. Six to seven, I think that's... That's good to see. It makes it a bit more interesting. And now we are out of money again. Eagle on Perfecto. Yeah, the right idea, but Nitro will live through that one. They're going to bring the bomb at least towards the B side of the map. Kind of drop for the minute. Probably just going to be playing a bunch of, of pickoff games, hoping to find something. Good headshot. Simple doesn't play games. It really doesn't. Nice headshot on Naf, but can't follow anything up. Four on four. Three deagles and no utility for Navi. They got a minute and 15 seconds to play with. Liquid don't really have any reason to take big risks in a round like this. Make sure they don't get that the, the rifle that Naf had. But apart from that, lock it down. Even if, even if they get a bomb plant, it's not a big deal, really. Just don't lose the round. Nitro playing a little bit forward now towards the ramp behind the smoke. Could be an awkward timing for him if they come out of Palace first. Yeah, because... Ooh, actually, good shots here. Yeah, Bit was going to be coming out always through that smoke. Oh, no. Oh, no. They got one as well towards Jungle. That was a leash. Perfecto hits him in the face and shocks all of a sudden into one versus two. How is it even possible that happened so quickly? They basically already won the round. And now instead, shocks walking out back onto the bomb site. Doesn't have a smoke like last time to try and see if he can get that last second defuse. So this, this could get really awkward. Yeah, he has to try and check everything. He has no idea where to look. And time is running off of that bomb now. He's got the kit, sure. The grenade, not going to help him either. Jumps for it. Good shot there. But Fit is on the other side. He peeks and wins. And Navi steal our rounds. They really had a tough time. Liquid ended that on a 5-2 to two run to bring this scoreline as close as possible. Now we're going to see what their offense is made of. They're attacking side. Naf is going to be alone at a ramp. Four players at top mid. Electronic is going to get aggressive. Oh, this could be so dangerous. Yeah, with the USP, it's all or nothing here. You, you're just going to fight your way out. You're never going to be able to fall back with all the clocks. Oh, wait. Is the, are they actually going to let him go? I can't believe it. No, it's understandable. Look, I mean, there, there's players here to hold off. They wanted to get the Molotov to defend against the trap. And they've done just that. Simple takes out Naf. But it's a three versus four. And Naf had that P250 that, you know, could have tried to snipe with. <laughs> he gets to your right. It's perfecto on the other side. I thought for a minute that was Boomage at that range. Simple in the corner hiding. Missing the first shot, but he makes up for it. Two big headshots to follow through. And a third one. It's another quad kill in the pistol round, Jason. And that's how Navi gets started in the second half. Which is the common theme. And sometimes, Navi. yeah, sometimes those shots, you just can't do anything about it. Yeah, he's got... So, like, four, quad kill in the pistol and on the first half, and now again in the second half. That's having a pretty decent impact on the game. Yeah, not too shabby. Getting Navi started on the right foot in both halves. 
Nine to seven. All unarmored pistols for Team Liquid. And very passive. Yeah, it's going to be a minute before Liquid can uh, could start to put up a fight. Unless they hit some of those wonderful deagle shots. Well, he's got one, so he's the, he's the only real contender. Try and get something done. Nitro going to be found. Run boosted into death. And Elise will find the headshot. Okay. There's one. Another couple would make a big difference, but the electronic will find it. You're exactly right. Third round buy from Team Liquid. All AKs, utility as well. Somewhat, a couple advantages across the map for uh, for Team Liquid here. Boomich and Bit stuck on the FAMAS and Perfecto down to an SMG. Yeah. Definitely he can work out well if you find the right fight early on here. Elish did kind of get spammed for the smoke. A little bit unfortunate. He's down to 18 health. But plenty of time for Liquid to make up their minds. They're not getting challenged by Navi early on in this round. So eventually, once they've been waiting around for a bit, you can see like Nitro is down. A ramp. Naf is up in the A palace. They're kind of waiting to see maybe if Navi are going to be doing anything. Doesn't seem like that's going to happen right now. I love the fact that Simple has that organ play. It's been effective so far. Electronic going to get tucked into the corner. Perhaps a bit of a bait and switch. Boomich at the top of ramp bit, even cheating over as well. He's got to keep his eyes on the boost. But also, every once in a while, look towards Khan. Liquid's going to attempt to split here. Oh, timing. Nitro swings for a great entry with that headshot. And the follow-up is absolutely there. Doesn't get any better than that. Taking down Boomich and Electronic both. Nitro, he wants to keep going a third kill as he takes down Bit. Welcome back, Nitro. Yeah, there he is. That's a great sequence. I, it looked like he saw Boomich and he knew exactly what to do. Boomich with the FAMAS passed over. I kind of, I want to see a little bit more out of Bit and Electronic. It's not that it's not fun to see Simple do this, but we had all agreed that we were past the era of Navi where Simple had to, to sort of lift too much on his own. We got past that when we returned to land, though. Again, not to yeah. harp on that too much, but it is just a different different team as Navi. Yeah, that's probably true. Well, maybe he can still get a little bit of help at least. Bit is in a forward position on the catwalk, actually pretty close to where Elige is around that right corner. So Elige has got to be careful. He's playing a big role in this round in terms of opening up that A defense, just you know, distracting them if nothing else, and maybe staying alive as well. Ooh, nice opening for Elise. There's that bit position. Simple's gonna pick up one with the AWP and Boomich is fighting for his life down in the shadows. Actually, he comes back up the ladder and takes down Naf. That is a surprising play. And Shark's looking for him all the time and he's finally gonna be able to find him. The two on three with enough time for Liquid to still do some trickery if they... Oh, wow, what a catch. Yeah, that's at the top of the stairs and that'll pull Elise right back. Shocks and Elise wanted to bail out to the other side of the map, and it's not going to happen. Simple's a little bit low at this A bomb site, so Elise can have. There's a chance for magic in this round. Simple's likely going to play it a little bit passively, but actually, Electronic, even just just playing a smart game, the insurance policy tucked inside Palace. He doesn't need to do anything until the bomb goes down. Yeah, he can wait here all day. Perfecto is just listening and making sure that Elise can't easily get in, get in and get the bomb down and escape at the same time, so. Perfecto would be to the catch and presumably one of those scenarios. 15 seconds on the clock, and eventually he's going to have to try and, and see if he get the job done, and they will be able to lock him in. Bomb is planted. Oh, he's trying for it. Shock goes down. Simple. Got to save that orb. Again, when you first purchase that, it's really cool to be able to save it to the next round. And trying to get him able to take down the leash with the help of those earlier nades does make that fight much quicker in his favor. And now Simple's going to rotate the ticket. Boomich is going to step up closer into the site. Triple boxes. Electronic at stairs. Flashbangs are out, but Liquid is held at bay. This is a tough situation to try and move forward. At some point, you just got to have the courage. That's a huge kill. That's going to help them feel a lot more safe. What a stunning follow-up shot from Nap. He's pulled them back into this round. 25 seconds. Now that you're feeling so secure in their positions, and Nap... He finds one more, and Perfecto, he wants to swing for this. He's got the right timing for it. Naf was moving out of that one, and the nade right on top of Nitro. He's lucky to be alive in that one. Huge health advantage here for Perfecto. 
Not quite sure if he's escaped or if he's still hiding back there. And Nitro has really no other tools than that AK-47. And maybe the element of surprise if he could find the right position here. But Perfecto, he's got some time before he really is under pressure. He's been checking everything else and a little bit of a jump there. Taps the bomb once. Nitro has to come back and look eventually, but he's actually playing it really well. He's staying quite far away. Another tap comes in and a jump from Nitro just to check he's back for the challenge. And he wins the round without firing a single shot. Just presence, just jumping for the information. Perfecto. A little upset probably that he let Nitro defend it, but I'm not sure about this buy from Ooh. Navi. That's a crazy flick. That's wild. Electronic. Just instincts to take down a liege. And they're clearing the underpass for the minute. OC is holding this, of course. I mean, if this works out for Navi, you can't really... There's not much you can say. But I feel like at such a close scoreline, 11 to 10, usually what ends up biting you on the CT side is, is that you lack the economy to win the, the game. If they were to lose it, there's still some time for them to recover the economy. But I think, obviously, in, in today's Counter-Strike, you get two M4s and AWP on simple. Uh, another two pistols around that is... You're, you're more than happy to take that one, especially <laughs> with utility. Simple's even boosted in the back of the B bomb site, peering in with an off angle towards Halls. Tough spot to clear. Liquid stalled out in this four on five. Nitro in position. And middle and underpass. Shox is going to join up with him, so they're going to try and make their way up connector as Naf and OC work a ramp. I think they've picked a good spot in the map to attack in terms of. Of Boomich being there with the C set 75 and then electronic on that M4. I mean, that, that's a fight they should be able to win even two on four. But if it takes too long, and it maybe it already has, the rest of Navi are starting to move into this position. Shocks as he found a gap. Simple is right around the corner. Unbelievable timing. And he comes right back as if he knew he was there all along. OC and Naf. This is going to be a even harder clutch to win. Naf goes down and OC is on his own trying to battle it out with the AWB, but Simple finds it. As an honorable <laughs> That's the disturbing part to me. But oh. fair enough. I'm not going to take that away from you. <laughs> oh, timing peak from Boomich has got the kill. Has a liege on his own. Electronic and simple peering towards top mid. Electronic also dividing his attention. Run boost. Here we go, Anders. You ready? Yeah, it's always fun. There we go. Throw him into the fight. And then, then they get wiped out. But it was a good run. I think it was a decent run boost. They Solid. Job. Yeah, six out of ten. Yeah, I think so. That's going to feel real bad. More aggression from Navi. Simple makes the catwalk jump. Electronic peeking towards underpass and bits in window as well. Flashes layered on top of flashes to try and prevent that exact scenario. Simple still hanging around and picking off shocks. At least that was right back at it. Gonna be taking down Electronic. I feel like they've been enemies in this game so far. Had a lot of battles between those two. Not actually sure who's coming out on top. Be interesting to find out. Elias is gonna be backing off the middle, and the rest of his team are setting up outside of the A bomb site. Bit and Boomich are kind of there. Yeah, they've shuffled this defense though back towards the A bomb site. But if there's smokes down, they're gonna have to play retake on it. You don't really want to go between that. Simple's coming around towards ticket, so the smoke on A ramp has bought enough time for. Navi to start feeling a bit more comfortable, and there's only the one smoke on Liquid that's just been tossed out now. One smoke to stop Simple. Doubtful. Are they going to try anyway? Towards the ticket booth. He's making a couple of jumps to try and spot out exactly where they are, and boom, he swings for it. I don't know how he knew Elish was there. Did they hear him? That's, I need to go back and see that. Definitely very confident swing, and now they can focus just on the A-bomb side. They know the flank is not going to be there. Nice shot from Simple, and especially because it was Napfly that he managed to land that kill on. There's going to be a little bit of a sigh of relief on their side. Good flashbang and a good swing. No chance for OC to do anything. And Nitro is on his own. One versus three and Boomich is walking up right behind him. Just nowhere to stand at the end of it. And that's 14 for Navi. Good patience and good repositioning from Boomich using the bench jump back in towards window after he gets the kill on a lead. Look at the whole round, wouldn't you? Maybe, yeah, maybe. maybe the guy in window hurt him. Hurt also, stuff. Could be an also, also, if there was absolutely no clue, it's also a question of is just... The homework from Boomich, because he actually has he seen it before and he's like, you know what, I think I know what's happening here. That as well. Because that would be one of the cooler things, in my opinion. I love it, love it when you get to catch those kind of things. It's kind of hard to do from outside of the game, obviously, but... Electronic traded. Tech 9 on OC. Mid-air shot from Simple, catching shots. Before he got too close to his teammate Boomich inside of the A-bomb site. And it's a uh, 4-on-3, and it's not looking good for Liquid right now. 
Navi. Grenade is going to land on top. No, it's just a flashbang. They try and get the boost up on the other side. And another trade happening. Still favoring Navi, though. Ooh, OC. I don't know. Maybe he thought that Nitro was going to have him pinned down, but simple as hit 32. 32, <laughs> I believe. Why not? It's another quad kill. I mean... <laughs> Gotta point that out in case people don't know. Ooh! He really, <laughs> you can see, but instead he's like, you know what, Bit, if you just take the shot, OC's dead. He knew that he was waiting. Great communication again from Navi, five on three, and Liquid have run out of steam quite possibly here. Perfecto down below. That smoke, actually, does that create, is that enough of a gap for, yeah. Oh, yeah. He Boy. can play around. That's actually really hard to deal with. Although Nitro, great entry. He's actually still got it. Nice headshots. He was sore off the start, but has definitely made up for it since then. Another kill for Nitro. A triple once again, trying to hold on and fight for that overtime, although it might not be possible here. Nah, there's just too much to handle. It's Boomich at the end, and it's 16 to 10. There's Navi in the opening map. Oh, man, it was so close. It felt for a while. Liquid, that's a great fight for most of that game, and the Navi just takes control. That one round, that break of Liquid's economy right at the end was brutal. And a 30-some kill performance from Simple is... Leads the way. It's magical.